Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Alvin Ailey Jr. was an American dancer, director, and choreographer, and activist who founded the world-renowned Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater in 1958. Ailey would fall in love with the art of dance in his teen years during the 1940s after witnessing his first ballet, and would eventually begin to dance in high school and college. Ailey quickly gained notoriety throughout the 1950s for his incredible skill, and would collaborate on projects with legendary icons like a young Maya Angelou at a nightclub in San Francisco, or Harry Belafonte in the Broadway production Sing Man Sing, and Lena Horne in the Broadway production of Jamaica. With an incredible resume under his belt, Ailey would create this Alvin Ailey Dance Theater with the purpose of celebrating black culture and excellence through dance, something the world had never seen before. Incorporating aspects of modern dance, ballet, jazz, African-American, as well as traditional African indigenous dances, Ailey's Dance Theater would revolutionize the art form of dance for black people globally as well as create new opportunities for black dancers who never had much access to professional careers in dance. Ali's Theater Company was incredibly impactful with changing the world's perspective on black dancers, having such profound effects on countries like Russia, where audiences had never seen black art or even black people so extensively. Ali's choreographic masterpiece, Revelations, is recognized as one of the most popular and most performed ballets in the world. Like many black gay men who are prominent public figures throughout the 50s, 60s, and 70s, Ailey was private and closeted about his romantic and sex life, though he was known to be relatively transparent with friends and loved ones. That didn't stop the FBI from taking note of his shows and threatening him with harsh legal sanctions if any positive portrayals of queer intimacy was a part of his shows. Despite the scrutiny he endured from the American government during his career, Ailey received the Kennedy Center Honors, the highest award for an artist in the United States, for being an ambassador of African American history and culture for decades, as well as broadening the scope of dance in America and the world.